What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have some great news. For those of you waiting for an iOS 14 jailbreak on the A12 and A13 devices like the iPhone XS, XS Max, iPhone 11 and so on. But I also have some great news for those of you on 13.7 and lower. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a system repair program that allows you to fix iOS and iPadOS, allows you to enter and exit recovery mode and fix iTunes synchronization errors. Definitely check it out in the link below. So as you probably remember a couple of days ago I I made this video in which I said a new kernel exploit will be released for the Uncover, which will be useful to update the Uncover jailbreak, which is this one in here, by this developer. And I'm talking about this exploit in here, which says, quote, iOS 13.6.1, iPhone 11 Pro Max, using custom built kernel read and write primitives, completely got rid of the TFP0 method. I'll make it public when it's appropriate. Hashtag jailbreak. Now, you probably remember I talked with the developer and he clarified to me in private what they're going to do with the exploit. And they basically said that they're going to release the exploit for the uncovered to be uh, updated but of course they are following the normal Apple disclosure procedure so we're going to have to wait a little bit for it now as you probably remember in this video I said that you should definitely stay on 13.7 and lower because that exploit was patched on iOS 14 well while that is true that's not completely true I actually talked again with the developer behind this exploit and they explained to me that although it's patched or semi patched in iOS 14 only one important component has been patched in iOS 14 and the rest of them are still working. So I asked whether we could basically replace that important component and make the exploit work on 14.0 and 14.0.1 and they told me that yes that would definitely be possible because not the whole exploit is patched just some important component. So although we still need to replace that and we have no idea right now how hard would it be to replace it, what kind of vulnerability we would need in order to replace the one that was patched because we don't have the exploit published right now, it's possible in the future that this same exploit would work on iOS 14. However, what I said in this video in here still applies. Do not update yet to iOS 14.0 and definitely do not update to 14.0.1. iOS 13.7 is still the safer method and still the safer iOS version. However, if you have already updated iOS 14, it's no longer the end of the world for the jailbreaking since this exploit in here might be updatable in the future with the right amount of work for iOS 14. We're going to know more about what is needed to make it work on iOS 14 once we have it publicly released. Because right now we only know from the developer, from my private DMs, that an important component has been patched in iOS 14. We don't know what component, we don't know what would it take to replace it. However, they did confirm it would be possible to replace it and make the exploit work on 14 as well. So that definitely gives a chance for the people who are on 14.0, on A12 and A13 devices. So we know for sure that iOS 13.7, 13.6.1, 13.6 and 13.5.1 will receive a new kernel exploit so that we can update the uncovered jailbreak to iOS 13.7 and lower on A12 and A13. But for the iOS 14, the same exploit can be updated, but we still need some components that were unfortunately patched in 14. Now we also have some great news for the 13.7 people. A new exploit has been released by Danny and Nikias Mason. They posted, quote, Nikias and I released Contextomy, an RCE or remote code execution exploit based on the CVE 2020-9992 patched in iOS 14 and Xcode 12 last week, alongside a write-up and a basic post-exploitation toolkit. And they posted in here the GitHub repo for the exploit, and of course this was also posted by Zimperium. They said, quote, Apple recently released a long-awaited iOS and iPadOS 14 update alongside an updated Xcode 12.0. Apple fixed a vulnerability in the development tools reported by Nikki Aspacen and Danny, an independent security researcher. So they also posted a huge article in here containing everything about the vulnerability, where it's present, what it affects and stuff like that. And while this is not TFP0, so we cannot use it straight away to update the uncover for example, this is still a dangerous vulnerability. This is still a powerful vulnerability. And it says in here, quote, as a result, this makes Wi-Fi debugging vulnerable to a man in the middle attack where an attacker is able to hijack a running debug session and gain arbitrary code execution on the target device. So this basically allows them to exfiltrate files, which of course is pretty dangerous, especially 
especially since this is network related. So yeah, a very interesting exploit that has been released. It might be usable for a jailbreak in the future, I don't know for the moment. I have to dig up a little bit more about it and read the whole thing. But it's an interesting exploit on iOS 13.7 and lower and it's also network related. But yeah, for those of you on iOS 14, definitely stay there. Do not update the 14.0.1.0.2 in the future and stuff like that. The exploit that we know will be released for iOS 13.7 and lower might be updatable in the future for iOS 14. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.